Hello and welcome everybody to my second video tutorial. Again, this tutorial is exclusively for Operation Photo Rescue and I've got the image by them. In this tutorial I'll show you how you can add texture of any kind to an area using the frequency separation technique. As you can see, just as in my last video, we have a nice area of texture here, but a very blotchy and blurry looking area around here. And what we are going to do is take the texture of this area to fix that blurry looking area. So the first thing that we are going to use is a rectangular marquee tool. We're going to draw a nice selection of an area that we like, select our background and choose Layer, New, Layer via Copy. That's nice. Do that again. Layer, New, Layer via Copy. And what we're going to do is visualize on um, how much we've got to um, blur this layer in order to get just the texture we want. We're going to use a filter, other high pass, and just raise the value until you see the texture. Oh, that's too much, that's too much, that looks pretty good, around 12 pixels. So, we're going to use a 12 pixel blur. Oh, that's my inbox. I'm sorry. <laughs> Select our bottom layer and use the filter Blur Gaussian Blur. We're going to enter just the value we just uh, visualized using the high pass filter and click OK. Now we're going to take our layer above again and use image apply image, select the layer 1 as our base layer, use the blending mode of subtract, scale value of 2 and an offset of 128. OK. Now we can delete the lower layer and set the blending mode of this layer to linear light. What you can see now is that it extracted and exaggerated the texture of this particular area. But the bounding boxes around this area look pretty pretty bad. So what we are going to use is once again the rectangular marquee tool. We are going to draw a marquee just inside the box select inverse that selection and press the delete key to delete that. You select deselect to deselect and use a soft and large eraser to cut down all the harsh edges. You're going to see where we do where we do that in just a few seconds. Okay, that looks pretty neat. Now we can take our texture and place it anywhere we want. If you want to um, copy the texture, just hold down the Alt key and drag it. As you can see, the area now doesn't look blurry anymore. The benefit of using the frequency separation technique is that you don't have to watch out for the lightning because just having copied that area wouldn't have looked good. I can show you. So once again, layer, new, layer via copy. 
and as you can see this area is way darker than this area and having to fix all that is a real pain in the neck so we just use the texture to get everything done at once. Some of you might ask why didn't we use the high pass filter? Because using the high pass can leave an almost exactly same result. But the downside of using the high pass filter is that it is not as accurate as using the apply image. For example, you're losing very much detail inside of the whites. And because, as you all know, I don't want to lose any detail at all, it's just the opposite is true, I want to have as many details as I can, I wouldn't suggest you to use a high pass for this kind of image editing. Okay, once again, before and after. I hope you enjoyed this little video. Until the next time, goodbye, see ya.